Reporting to you live here at the hospital at the new unit I'm working in. It's our last week, episode 129. Let's go. Welcome, my fellow Jaywalkers, to another episode of Live from Last Week. Hope last week has served you well. Just a quick shameless plug before we go on. I want you guys to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel. So after I'm not as bad as I thought, night shift redeployed to a medicine unit last night. I'm here for the fresh air and beautiful views at Riverdale Park East. For the first time since I took the wife here to catch the beautiful sunsets a couple weeks back. And before I take the Baby Rouge home to get some rest in between my night shifts, going in tonight for my second of my two scheduled shifts, we just have a couple of birthday greetings for you guys today. Starting off with one of the biggest Argos fans out there, who I'm remembering back in November, celebrating the Argos 2022 Great Cup Championship win. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Amanda. Happy birthday, Amanda. We've also got a birthday shout out to one of our family friends out there who I'm remembering used to teach yoga classes on the beach in Jamaica during my cousin Faye's wedding week. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Kay. Happy birthday, Kay. And last but not least, a birthday shout out to one of our closest friends out there who most recently played badminton us a couple days back and traveled with the wife and I a couple years ago in the States. This birthday shout out goes out to you, G. Happy birthday, G. I'm hoping all my friends and family members that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. So this morning, coming off my night shift, still in my scrubs, I got ready to change out of my uniform, go to the break room and grab some quick breakfast against the advice of my coworker Masume, and head over for an orientation session at the new unit that I'll be working in over the next year. And because of proposed renovations to our current unit, I was also introduced to the new locker rooms that I'll be using. Moving into the former locker of a person that made a cameo here in the past. One that was previously occupied by my buddy, ICU Max. We also had the opportunity to do a little scavenger hunt on the new unit. Scavenger hunt! Where Josie and I finished it up quickly. Winners! 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 Winning these pretty sick t-shirts. We won't skip a beat during construction. We won! We won! Doing a little dance celebration. <laughs> we won! We won! <laughs> and modeling these new babies out. As well, when leaving the hospital this morning, my Auntie Joy caught me wanting to take the baby rouge from me. Joy's new ride! One other person who coincidentally caught me while riding in Scarborough was the wife here with the baby Minnie after she went grocery shopping. She also had surprised me by buying this wheeled walker off of Facebook Marketplace. Actually, after helping her out put other pieces together here in the parking garage, we learned that she actually bought this new stroller. Anyways, after not being able to take at least a little bit of a post-night shift nap today, looking outside our window at the views of Toronto that looked a little bit hazy, because of several severe air quality weather advisories in the news, of forest fires burning across the region in Canada, specifically in the Ontario and Quebec regions. But moving on to this evening where I'm feeling a little bit hungry, I decided to use this app that I haven't used in a couple of weeks, and go to the local Takbuan, picking up my most recent Too Good To Go meal. Takbuan, Too Good To Go, again. So guys, I'm now gonna go and try out this delicious beast of a meal before trying to catch up on some lost sleep that I was supposed to have earlier today. But before I do, let's head back to outside for our birthday greetings of the day. First, I got a quick birthday greeting to one of my FCAR friends from back in my university days. This birthday shout out goes out to you, John. Happy birthday, John. We've also got a birthday shout out to one of my favorite former co-workers who you guys remember made this cameo in a previous Live From Last Week episode. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Simmy. Happy birthday, Simmy. 
I'm hoping all my friends that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. So today, after getting a little bit of sleeping from last night, trying to catch up on lost sleep, but still feeling low back, my cousin Elrond invited me to go play badminton with him at Epic Sports for a nice little two-hour session. Now, coming back to the condo for a little bit of rest before we continue on with our day, we have today's birthday greetings. With the first birthday shout out, going out to one of my family friends that I haven't seen in a while, but would like to reconnect with sometime in the near future. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Holly. Happy birthday, Holly. We've also got a birthday shout out to one of our friends who has made several Live From Last Week episode cameos in the past, and who I've also played indoor volleyball with several months ago. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Syrah. Happy birthday, Syrah. I'm hoping that all my friends and family members that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. But yeah, guys, now it's time to continue with our day, making our way through rush hour traffic to go visit a couple of friends that we haven't seen in a while and deliver a gift to them that you guys remember the wife got a couple of days back. So our friends who we delivered that baby stroller to last night actually haven't made an announcement yet that they are expecting. So keeping this surprise in mind, y'all have to tune in to a future episode to see glimpses of how their reaction was to receiving this baby stroller as a gift. But anyways, moving on to last night, after stopping by the Saga home to take a quick six hour nap, I drove the wife downtown to her day shift this morning before chilling around the condo all day, working out a little bit before I go in for my first of my scheduled two night shifts tonight, doing a span of four shifts in the next five days. But the bittersweet thing about tonight's night shift though, is that it will be the last shift I have on this unit before it gets renovated. So before I go in and say bye bye to this unit that I've been working on for the past 14 years or so, we'll have some positive vibes by doing a quick birthday greeting. With today's birthday shout out going out to one of my buddies out there who y'all remember has joined me in previous Laugh From Last Week episodes checking out these super kicked wrestling events in the past. This birthday shout out goes out to you Lee. Happy birthday Lee. I'm hoping that at this time you and your family are doing well, staying safe and healthy and that you had a great celebration for your birthday this year. Well last night's night shift was an end of an era. And although I was redeployed to work on the sister unit across the hall, I still made time to say goodbye to the hallways full of memories over here. As well as saying farewell to the break room that I utilize where I eat my midnight dinners, reminiscing about the occasions that we celebrated here, including this sign that was put up by our lovely volunteers years ago for one of our co-workers, Baby Showers. Also, last night, looking at my locker that I knew that I had to eventually empty out, I spent a half an hour after my shift this morning having to clean it out, taking out a couple of these photos that were definitely a blast from a past from a holiday party that we celebrated over a decade ago. Another flashback that I have, throwing back to this time earlier in the year. Guys, it's my Eeyore's last day today. I had to say goodbye to that sketch of Eeyore that my former co-worker Kate drew for me and my locker. And to top it all off, recalling several of these scenes from previous Laugh From Last Week episodes in the past, guess who was able to relocate that special occasion party hat from the back of their locker? But yeah, after packing everything up and saying goodbye to the place that I called home for the past 14 years, we'll just do a little montage video of the memories from this unit. I'm so tired, but I can't sleep. Standing on the edge. 
edge of something much too deep It's funny how we feel so much We cannot say a word We are screaming inside, oh But we can't be heard I will remember you Will you remember me? Don't let your life pass you by Weep not for the memory Weep not for the memory Now guys, on to new beginnings! Before I lead the charge for my first night shift in the new unit, I just have a quick birthday shout out to one of the funnest people to hang out with back in my YSIC days. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Devin. Happy birthday, Devin. I'm hoping that at this time, you and your family are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and that you had a great celebration for your birthday this year. So after our first night shift in the new surgical unit, which honestly came with a little bit of issues, but nothing that we couldn't really handle, I decided to go to our new break room and celebrate with this box of Tim Hortons. And just like I did last week, enjoy a couple of leftover donuts. But anyways, after taking a short little nap post night shift this afternoon, I made my way with the Baby Rouge for the second time in as many weeks to go to Sunday afternoon Catholic Mass here at the Canadian Martyrs Parish. But yeah guys, before I go and try to catch up on some lost sleep from today, we just have a quick birthday shout out to one of my friends that I'm remembering from my university days back when she was at FSAT. This birthday shout out goes out to you Priscilla. Happy birthday Priscilla. I'm hoping that you and your family at this time are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and that you had a great celebration for your birthday this year. With finally being able to have the night off, catching up on a little bit of sleep last night, recalling that I had popped a blood vessel in my left eye earlier in the week, that the wife thinks was from this day of sneezing last week. Anyways, today where I'm feeling a little bit sneezy, <laughs> but me predicting that it is from my haircut bangs that keep on getting into my eye unexpectedly, I went outside into the pouring rain earlier today to get some groceries and deposit my 2023 tax return check before seeing if I can use the oven's air fryer feature for the first time after celebrating its first birthday last week. Now before we try these freshly air fried pieces of chicken and go in for my first of my two night shifts tonight, doing a span of three in four days, we'll finish up this pre-night shift stationary bike session that we're having right now and wrap up this week's episode right here. So if you guys have enjoyed what you've been watching, feel free to follow Jay Walker POV on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Be sure to like and share this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notifications bell to be notified when new videos from Jay Walker POV come out. And once again, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Stay safe and healthy out there, and we'll see you next time on Live From Last Week.